Is Executive Condo a sure win? Should you buy Executive Condo or Condo? If you'd like to know, continue to watch the video. Hi everyone, I'm Joyce and welcome back to my channel, Selling Singapore Property. ECs are a very popular choice among buyers because of the attractiveness of upgrading to a private property at a relatively lower price compared to condominium during the launch. As of November 2022, including the recently launched Copper Grand and upcoming launch Tenet, of the remaining 73 ECs, 23 developments are fully privatised, having obtained temporary occupation permit at least 10 years ago. So, is EC a truly sure win? In this video, I will share my analysis with you whereby ECs might not be a sure win. Here's the true example of a buyer who has opted to buy a 3-bedroom at Hiron Bay EC in 2012 and sold in 2022. As he has to keep his EC for at least 8 years from the day he bought it from the developer on the launch day, the earliest he can sell is in year 2020. Let's say he decided to hold it till 2022, then sell in this scenario. His profit is 369k for 10 years period. Is that considered a good investment? Hmm. After doing some research for him, actually he could have achieved much more profits if he were to buy a condo right from the start in 2012. Let me share the analysis with you. If he were to buy a 3-bedroom new launch at Coven Regency in 2012 and sold it in 2018, and after selling it, he continued to buy another 3-bedroom new launch property at the Sterling Residences in the same year 2018 and sold it in 2022. Let's take a look at how much his profit could have been. The profit from selling Coven Regency will be 197000 and the profit from selling Sterling Residences will be 512000 Therefore, the total profit will be 709000 in 10 years and not only 369000 The differences in profit is 340000 additional, which is about another 92% more profit. That's quite a huge amount, right? As you can see from my analysis, buying an EC is not a sure win. Buyers of ECs have to remember that ECs were introduced to meet the upgrading needs of the sandwich class in Singapore. Therefore, capital appreciation and profitability are secondary, while affordability is the main consideration in ECs. As per the table tabulated, in some cases, buying ECs could actually be even unprofitable. In today's market, it's very important to spot the right opportunities and find the right property to invest in at the right time. If you have a particular project or plan in mind and would like me to spot the opportunity for you, don't hesitate to reach out to me so that I can share my analysis with you and help you to make the right decision in your property portfolio. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media accounts as I'll be sharing more property videos beneficial to your property journey. I'm Joyce and I'm happy to have shared my analysis with you. I will see you in my next video. Bye!